Today, we're gonna to be talking about oil changes and the Ford Maverick. You know, one topic that I see come up again and again in online forums is, what kind of oil should I be running in my truck? How often should I be changing the oil? And how do I actually do the job if I wanna change the oil myself? All right, so before we dive into the oil change job, I really need to take just a minute and talk about how often you should change the oil in your truck and what oil you should be using. Now here I'm speaking specifically about the two liter turbocharged EcoBoost engine. For hybrid owners, I think this still applies, but especially if you're running the 2.0 EcoBoost. You know, Ford recommends 7,500 miles oil change intervals under normal driving conditions with the 5W30 synthetic blend. And while that'll certainly maintain your warranty, remember Ford as a company is only making sure that your truck is gonna live past the warranty period, at which point all the problems are gonna be on you. I've seen some great videos and I'm gonna link one right up here at the top of the screen from Ford techs who know way more about these engines than I do, work on them every day, who pull these engines apart and find that because people weren't diligent about changing the oil more frequently and using a high quality oil, they need expensive rebuilds, they're having engine failures, they're having turbo failures because they're getting premature wearing of the bearings in the turbos and getting a lot of carbon deposits in the engine. And I'm just following the advice of guys who do this for a living. And that's why I'm going with 100% synthetic oil in my truck. I've chosen to use the Amsoil uh, Signature Series. Uh, I have a good friend who sells Amsoil. I'm very happy to support him, but I'm certainly not saying, you know, it's gotta be Amsoil or nothing. There's other really good, high quality synthetic oils out there, but please consider using an all synthetic oil in your engine and consider using a filter that's capable of filtering out particles that are even smaller than what factory spec would call for. And again, if you watch the video that I linked, as well as a second video that I'll link here on low speed pre-ignition, which is a considerable problem with these directed injected turbocharged engines that can also cause engine damage, premature engine failure. Again, a very high end, 100% synthetic oil and a quality oil filter that's changed not at 7,500 miles, but every five to 6,000 miles over the life of your truck is gonna make a huge difference, not only in your performance along the way, but in keeping your engine cleaner and working the way that it should. So I realize oil is always a topic that guys love to debate. Everybody has strong opinions. Obviously you can do whatever you want with your truck but again, I think if you look at the information that's presented in these videos that I'm sharing, it may make a believer out of you, as it certainly did for me, that for the extra cost of what it's gonna cost me to change the oil a little more frequently and spend a few more dollars for that oil, I'm gonna see a big benefit in the long run. So for the extra cost of uh, what would be an, a tank or two of gasoline over the course of a year, I can keep good, clean, fresh, high quality oil running through the engine, running through the turbo. Cause remember it's the same oil lubing your engine and your turbo. And I'm going to have some peace of mind from that. And I think, you know, if my plan is to hold on to this Maverick for 10 years or more, it's going to be a well worthwhile investment over that course of time. With that, let's go ahead and dive into the oil change job. And I'll show you just how easy it is uh, to take care of this yourself. If that's what you'd like to do. All right, so hopping right under the truck here. Obviously, this isn't entirely necessary, but if you have a set of uh, wheel blocks like I've got, uh, that will give you uh, more clearance and make it a lot easier to get under here and do the job. Uh, these are just a set of Rhino blocks that you can pick up for 50 bucks at Walmart. Uh, it's an inexpensive tool and something that'll last you pretty much a lifetime. Now, for the actual oil change, the first thing you're gonna have to do on your Maverick is to remove the uh, skid plate. Uh, if you have a Tremor or an FX4, or I believe there's a felt plate here uh, on standard models. Either way, you're gonna have to get this off to get access to the oil pan. Uh, now on my truck, I've got uh, basically eight 
uh, hex bolts that hold uh, this smaller front skid plate on. And then there's also eight uh, half inch drive uh, regular bolts that I'm gonna need to remove. So if you've got, uh, you know, a power tool, that'll really help. I've already got the hex head on here. So I should be able to get these really easily. And it'll help if you get yourself a bucket to put your hardware in so you don't lose any of that. All right, I believe those are all the, the hex that I need to get off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, eight half inch bolts. And that first piece will just slide out and just have to bring it down over the lip here and then that'll slide right out. And you can see that I actually marked these because yes, I am an idiot. Doesn't hurt to take a permanent marker marking my front orientation just so I don't have any confusion when I go to put these back. And that's an easy thing to do the first time. All right, so as you can see, when you get that last bolt out, skid plate's just gonna come down and there I've got it out. So that's all there is to removing the skid plates. Uh, it took me, what, a couple of minutes there with a good power tool, certainly makes the job easy. All right, so now we're ready to actually empty the oil. So again, this is your oil pan here. You've got your plug. You always want your uh, engine to be warm. Now today's a nice warm day, so I don't have to worry about getting it super hot. I just turned on the truck. I idled it for a few minutes uh, and killed the engine. Now we're gonna head and just loosen the uh, oil plug. This takes a seven, uh, this is rather a 15 millimeter a socket. So I'm just gonna put this on here and hopefully, yep, comes, comes loose. Nice and easy, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got your drain pan in position. And I'm gonna maneuver this to get my opening uh, in position here. Hopefully don't make too much of a mess as I get ready to have this thing come out here. There we go. And that's it. Just let the oil drain, five and a half quarts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the filter. So anyway, I don't know who put the uh, filters on at the factory, but this filter was on tight and I had to use this uh, belt wrench <laughs> to really crank on it. And I finally managed to get it loosened up a little bit. So I've got it to the point now where I can get it <clears throat> coming off here. Filter does not need to be that tight, folks. That was a pain in the butt to get it off. And you just let that drain. All right, so I'm gonna be replacing the uh, OEM filter uh, with this AMSOIL uh, EA15K51. So this is uh, rated for up to 15,000 miles of interval. And uh, I won't be running it anywhere near that, but always wanna lube up the edge of your filter. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a couple drops of the, the old dirty oil. No, I'm not worried about getting a couple drops of dirty oil on here. 
This does not need to go on as tight as the blazes like it was from the factory. I'll tighten it up some, but I'm not gonna tighten it so that it takes a superhuman effort to get that off of there. That's good and tight. All right, so now that we've got the new filter on there, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the drain plug. And I'm gonna to torque this to spec, which is 20, 20 foot pounds. And I've already got my torque wrench set for 20 pounds. That's it. And we're all set to fill her back up now. Drain the oil, got the new filter on there, got the plug reinstalled. So we're ready to refill the engine. I've decided, as we discussed, to run with the, uh, the Amsoil uh, Signature Series, 100% synthetic, uh, 5W30. Um, this is uh, an excellent oil and is going to be uh, I'm sure helpful in helping me to maximize the life of my engine and reduce uh, wear and tear not only on the engine but on the turbo over time. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up with five and a half quarts per spec. Two quarts. Three quarts. Four quarts. Five quarts. And now for the last one, just needs half a quart. That should be good. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and reinstall the skid plates now. And it looks like the easiest way to start that is to get these two bolts in back here and then this skid plate will rest underneath those. I can tighten those and then get the rest of the bolts. That's why I rode on there. Which way was front and which way was out. is it skid plates are back on oil change is done well that's all there is to it for the oil change hope you enjoyed seeing the process and it's really not a hard job and if you have a socket set and some torx bits a little bit of time it's absolutely something you can do for yourself I really feel, especially for those of you running the 2.0 liter EcoBoost turbocharged engines, an upgrade in the oil and filter that you put on that engine for the life of the truck is gonna make a big difference. If you like the show, give us a like, consider hitting that subscribe button. I appreciate everybody's support. Enjoy your Mavericks and be safe out there.